everyone, it's Andy. I'm back on today to talk about choline and the discussion about how important choline is in our diets and why we might need it for women who are pregnant specifically. When we look at choline, there's really one study that indicates that choline is really essential for the neural development of your baby during pregnancy, and that's if you're exposed to high levels of alcohol. So for the majority of women, we know we're pregnant, we're typically avoiding alcohol, not drinking any alcohol, certainly not exposed to high levels of alcohol. So for most women, choline is not essential for your pregnancy. Now, there's adequate intakes that are recommended for choline, a little over 400 milligrams a day for women, according to the Food and Drug Administration. Most women are getting a lot through their diet alone. There was one study that was published recently that had some indications that pregnant women were not getting that exact amount or were getting slightly suboptimal levels of choline. It was only one study and it hasn't been reproduced and it was back in 2014. So these are things that we typically look for when we're reviewing medical evidence. So although there is one thing out there, it's not the best evidence that we have to say that choline is really essential in a prenatal vitamin. Now the great thing about choline is you can get it through your diet very easily. You can find it in all sorts of animal products food that you're eating. So it's in lots of different meats, it's in eggs, it's in dairy. It's also in different nuts and whole grains. So for practically everybody, we're getting plenty of choline every single day because in almost everything we're eating, there's choline in it. Also, if you're eating anything plant-based, choline's the primary substance that builds cell walls. So you're also consuming some that way as well. Not to mention our livers have a way of actually producing choline. So when we're not even consuming it, our body has a way of actually making some on its own. There's also an association with choline and methylated vitamins. I know you guys have heard us talk about methylated vitamins and how important they are. And a lot of times it's surrounding our folic acid versus methylated folate. So what happens here is choline is another similar compound. And so what's important to know is that people require more choline when they're not getting methylated forms of vitamins. If you do have a vitamin that has folic acid in it, you might require higher levels of choline to meet that methylated need. Luckily for us, because we're using methylated folate, we're decreasing your need for any methylated forms. So it makes it less likely that you need more choline or any additional choline in your diet. So moral of the story, stick with a great prenatal routine like the one you have at Pinto. Make sure you're eating a well-balanced, well-rounded diet because that is one of the most important things to do during pregnancy. And if you have any questions, we're always here to chat with you.